All right, we've got an exciting video today. As many of you know, one of the most difficult things when it comes to building models reports from QuickBooks Online Data is when you have more customized reports. So if you want things by class, by department, by field, it sucks. It sucks getting the data out. It's not easy. You've got to set up a bunch of different custom reports, pull them, copy and paste all the data. And that's where our newest feature, our formula filters comes in to help save you some time. So I've opened up a blank spreadsheet. We're gonna go into our Genius Sheets add-in here. We're gonna do pull reports. I'm gonna do, set a fairly wide range. So we'll go from October, let's say February. I'm going to turn on the with formulas. So it's gonna create a live report that's linked to your QuickBooks Online data. And we're gonna do profit and loss. Now you'll be able to pull any of these options with our custom formulas now in a dynamic manner. So let's start with classes. Everybody wants their data by class. So let's start with classes. It's going to generate each of my different classes over the time period with the data now linked. So we've made a couple changes here. So you see the Genius Sheets formula now has five arguments category to the general ledger account, the start date, the end date, the company. So this is if you have multi-company support, you have multiple entities you want to consolidate. You can change the name of the company here. And then finally the filter. So this automatically knows that the new, new product is your filter for your classes. And so it's going to pull that in to this specific cell. So this is all great. We've got, a, we've got a live spreadsheet. All you have to do is change these dates. So if you want one month at a time, all your classes, uh, right, this would be 10, 31, 2021. Uh, and now all we have to do is change the dates and the data will update. Now, what's nice about this, what you can do is we can change this a little bit. So we can, let's do this. We're gonna get rid of all the middle data and we're gonna turn this into one class. Delete. Now it's gonna mess with our references a little. So we're just gonna move this up here. So we're gonna have the new product and then we're gonna have one, one, two, two. What we're gonna do is a rolling PNL for an individual class. So my start date, I'm gonna change this reference. You know, just gonna make this right here. End date, we're gonna leave blank because if we have just the start date, it'll pull the full month's worth of data. Uh, company name, I'm gonna, I'll put the company name right there. And then new product, we're gonna always have locked. Uh, the company name, let's always have it locked as well. And then in here, we'll just put in Genius Sheets, so it knows. Now, I just I also need to lock the date. So we're always gonna wanna be in the sixth row. Do it across, do this down. Bam, so now you can see, you can start getting a rolling PNL for a specific class over your period of time, so. Or 1 2022. Well, we add some of the data from last year as well. 12 1 2021. And I just add another column here. 11 1 2021. Oops. Add these. And so now you see you have this rolling PL for your individual class over a period of time, where as each month passes, all you have to do is put these formulas in, or what a lot of users will do is you can start 2022, 6, 1, 2022. So this is in the future. So now you don't even do anything. We're just gonna copy and paste the formulas over. Each time you log into Genius Sheets, we'll go into, okay, I want to refresh my data. 
resync all of this from QuickBooks. And now the May numbers are gonna update to as recent as we have data for. And then these June numbers will start updating once June comes. Now, the benefit to this is you can just set up these rolling reports for any of these different filters. And you can do this for both the balance sheet and the profit and loss statements. So you can do this by vendors, classes, um, products and services, locations, employees won't actually let us get from the API. So right now that's just a static report, but each of the others you can customize. Now the benefit to this is if you are also running a, um, if you're running a, if you've built a financial model, so why don't we do, we just pull a standard p &L. We're gonna pull the standard PL totals only with the formulas by month. What you could start doing is you can break out in your financial model, you can have rows in here where you say, okay, I actually want this specific range. Yeah. Uh, this row here, maybe you want an individual, you want one of your expenses broken down by individual classes. So, oops, add a row, add a row. So what we can do is you can put the names of the individual classes in here. So if it's like new product, and then so instead of having the one general account that you're pulling in all the data for, you can have each class going down and you can pull that within your financial model on the same tab where you have everything else. So how that could look would be gs.is. Name of the category is still Crohn's Dunshire. The start date is still this start date. Uh, let me just put in this all references before I forget. We have no, oops, we're gonna have no end date. The company name we have up here, and that's always gonna be in the same place. And then finally, we'll have the name of the category. And so when you, when you do that, you can start getting more granular in your financial models where you can mix and match general ledger accounts and the, the full total amounts, as well as the filters for the individual classes, categories, vendors. And you can do a lot of different things with this as well. So the next video will be showing how to set up uh, accounts receivable tracking by your individual clients. So we hope you like this, hope you check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks.